Hey guys, Jerry from Blitz Studio. Yeah, hey, I just want to give you an update on a game I'm working on right now. Uh, I'm either calling it Blocktress or Jelly Cube, and this is the game. So I've got this little cube character, and I um, have it's kind of like a, an action puzzle game. So I'm able to swipe and be able to move this uh, character around. I've got some le level uh, generation happening. Uh, the thing that I'm working on right now, though, is I'm working on some haptic feedback. So that's really, really cool and fun to be able to feel the game as you're playing through it. So let me just show you what I'm working on. Uh, I've got this, created this little button. Um, it has a little foam with some squiggly lines on it. I've made it so that if you click the button on, haptic feedback comes on. If you click the button off, haptic feedback turns off. I'm using a plugin for Unity called Nice Vibrations, and it allows me to have different levels of vibrations for different types of events. And so light impact, medium impact, heavy impact, failure, success, all kinds of different stuff. So um, I've, uh, again, I'm using Unity and I'm using Playmaker as my visual scripting tool. And so let me just kind of show you how I'm accomplishing the haptic feedback. So I've created some actions for uh, haptic feedback and uh, created those so that Playmaker can use those scripts and then here's the system that I have. I've created this manager for my haptic feedback and I wanna be able to turn this all on or all off as opposed to sprinkling the haptic feedback throughout all of my different FSMs, my different events for different types of things, player movement, button clicks, that kind of stuff. I'm handling that all in one spot so it's easy to just turn this thing on and off. So here's the haptic feedback FSM. So currently I have a, a start state and it's just waiting and then different types of impacts and in each of those there's a call to nice vibrations which is the plugin that I'm using and the different types of haptic feedback that accomplishes what I want it to do. So failure, success, uh, selection, so like a button click, uh, warning, different things like that. And then I'm able to, within my other FSMs, call to this one to then uh, achieve whatever that haptic feedback event is. Of course, we don't want to force the user to have this on. If they want to be able to turn it off, cool, we can do that. So I've started to create this uh, menu system, and this is really, uh, right now, it's just a button for haptic feedback, but it's going to be more than that. Um, this is just what I'm working on at the moment. So here's my manager. So I'm listening for a button click, and that button click is for the this little button that I have, the haptic feedback button. And if it's clicked, then I'm gonna do a little test. So this is a bull test. Is it on or off? If it's off, then I wanna turn it on, and which I wanna turn haptic feedback on. So uh, then I go to, go to my haptic feedback on, and then I go through a, a several different events that I wanna accomplish. I wanna activate my button on button. I wanna turn off the button off button, uh, or the, the graphic anyway. I'm setting my bool to false and then enabling my haptic feedback manager uh, FSM, okay? And then I same, just opposite if I want to turn it off. So every time I do a button click, it uh, accomplishes that. So if I hit play, not that you guys will be able to see the feedback, but you can at least see the button turning on and off. And here's my haptic feedback manager. So it's listening for any of these events. And if I click my button, I'm turning the haptic feedback on and off. And you can see that it's deactivating because it's turning green. And when I turn it on, it turns green, so it's listening. And then as I move, you can see that it's calling to this light impact on my character move. Boom, level success. All right, and that's what I'm working on right now. All right, we'll see you guys later.